What's up everybody? Welcome back to my kitchen where safety is number one priority and today I'm going to put to the test five more kitchen gadgets. Let's see what I got this time. All I had to do is to set it up as put the blade in. This blade is very very sharp. The coolest part about it, look at that. There is have this cutting motion right here. Such a cool design and to go in and out just press it like that. So we got a cucumber, this side here is a little bit sharp. You put it like that and you push it too all the way down and push it all the way to here so that way it spins and then what we're going to do is spin it and push this up. Ah, we got to push it all the way in like that, okay. That cucumber is too soft or something because it just corded instead. Let's try this again. All the way to, maybe I shouldn't have cut it on one side. Let's try this again. There you go. Ah, getting messed up again. Okay, with the potato, I think I can push it a bit harder. There you go. Okay, I should have been pushing it a bit harder. I was afraid it's going to break at the end over here as well. So then you take out and you got one of these pieces. Okay, now it works. Pretty awesome. Push it all the way in, push it right to the middle. I'm gonna show you guys from this side what's happening. There you go. You see how it's layering it? You know what? I wasn't pushing hard enough. Now it works really good. Look at that. You can really slice up the apple so good. Okay, then you take this out and let's see what this apple looks like. Wow, you have this really thin piece of apple. So now use your imaginations what you can do with that. Pretty awesome. Okay, I figured it out how it works for sure. Okay, one more time with the potato, you put it on one side, then put this to the middle and you want to actually press it firmly. That was my biggest mistake, I wasn't pressing it hard enough. But also if cucumber really soft, it won't work that well either. You gotta be careful, it's super, super sharp as well. Take this out and you got it right here, potato film. Pretty cool, isn't it? You can do that with a lot of different type of vegetables. So you know what? Very unique machine. Thumbs up for me. Just be very careful. That blade is very sharp. Also, it's pretty easy to remove it. Just take it out and that's it. For the next gadget, I got here a peeler and a chopper all in one. So there's a chopper. Let's see how stone it is and let's see how well it's going to peel. There you go. So peeling okay, definitely not the best one, kind of not sharp enough, I wish it was a lot more sharper. You see how I don't even get it all the way, I really have to push. So let's say you need to peel a bunch of stuff like carrots, cucumbers, I don't know. Let's see how well it's going to chop but after it. So first of all, pillow was pretty bad. Okay, now let's start to do the chopper. You put it in and then chop it. Wow, that was actually awesome. Again awesome. Look at that. Just push it all the way in. Ow, squish my hands a little bit. It's pretty awesome, but the whole thing is a bit flimsy. Especially whenever you have to chop it. Kind of hard items. Look, it doesn't even fit. You see, it's kind of slides to the side. So it doesn't really work every time. So, you know what? I like the design, but the quality is definitely low. Because look at that. It's a great idea. It would chop up perfect slices if it wasn't so flimsy and a bit bigger. But what about salary? Salary, no problem. Because it's not so thick and it's not so hard chopping it in perfect pieces except right here and the last one
Boom. For the next gadget I got here, one of a kind ice cream scoop. It is square and look how well it works. I can go slow so you can see. This little piece will push it forward. That's how it works by spinning right here a couple of gears. Okay, all we have to do is squeeze it into the ice cream. Take a piece, perfect. Then squish it like that and you have a piece of square of ice cream. How cool is that? Another piece right here, right next to it. And then you can even brush it off and then put on top of it. How cool is that? Obviously it will stick a little bit so keep it in a hot water. One more piece, this is like a Minecraft scoop almost. You can build stuff with the ice cream now. You grab a really good scoop right here. You can even fill it up all the way. Make sure. And then place it down again. Boom. And whenever you rinse it in the water, it comes off really, really good. Look at this cute ice cream cubes. Very nice. And the ice cream looks neat and perfect. This is the coolest ice cream scoop I have ever put to the test, that's for sure. You can fill it up all the way by squishing it and then slicing it. And once again, set it down and push it. Very nice. Super cool. Again, the best thing is run it in the water so it does not stick after each use. For the next gadget I got here, a Sinan TV chopper. So this is looks like French fries chopper. It has a really good suction cup. That's amazing. First of all, this is just a regular chopper, French fry chopper. Cut potato in half, then smash it. Boom. Wow, look at that. A lot of power. Pretty thick, very nice chopper. Also, you can put this attachment in there, plug it in, and then what we'll do, grab a half a potato, put it in here, and then we're going to slice it. And then chop it. And look at that, you have perfect cubes of a potato. How cool is that? One more time, you see those blades in there? Put the potato in there. Grab it, slice it, whoops, one more time, different view, move this, put half a potato in there, then you want to push this in, you see how it's going to fit right in, then you're going to push this lever down and see what happens, boom, and you have all these awesome cubes, wow, that's actually high quality, also, if you just press this and release this, then you have a regular French fresh chopper. By pressing it like that and you have pretty good French fries. One more potato, you see it's a bit too long. So what you could do is just chop a piece. If you still want pretty long potato, French fries. I love the suction cup. Look at that, pretty nice potato slices. Also, you can do the same thing with the cucumber. Let's say you want to make a long pieces. Boom, you have here long pieces of cucumber. Very nice for snacks, for kids, beautiful. But also you can put this back on right here. See if the cucumber will fit. Make sure you cut it so it'll fit. This pushed all the way back and then push it down and then push the lever down and boom you have perfect cubes for cucumber how cool is that wow this is satisfying let's do something else next we're gonna put an onion kind of don't fit in there we'll make it fit oh yeah make sure this released all the way back slice it then dice it look at that Release it and you have sliced up onion. Now let's try to do with the tomato, same thing. This is pretty nice tomato, not too soft. Okay, push it in. Boom. And then now dice it.
tomato <laughs> maybe not such a good idea because it's turned into a tomato juice yeah maybe you gotta stick with the hard vegetables and foods but yeah pretty cool isn't it one last time look at this perfect cubes of the cucumber same thing with potatoes very nice gadget I like it a lot for the next gadget I got here pot strainer let's see how it works you see there is a big clip looks like rubber and plastic so it should attach to pretty much any size of the pot and we're going to try to strain pasta just like on a picture okay I cook some pasta now I need to strain it you see how it holds it pretty good pretty tight let's see if it's going to have no accidents in there okay pull it out look at that didn't lose one piece it's really hot shake it up a little bit more pull it all the way out wow this is a really cool strainer just be careful if it's heavy don't pull it over the top but yeah it's holding it up pretty good too the clip is nice well guys that's pretty much it let me know in comments below what do you think about this video don't forget to thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you next time